It's all over now. It won't take long for the rest of those memories to come back to her. When she's regained them all, in three days, Elizabeth will die! <gasps> no joke. This has always been our destiny. Now, there's no need to hide it from you anymore. I'm just gonna tell you everything. <sighs> the goal of this 3,000 year journey of mine. Three thousand years ago, during the Holy War, Elizabeth and I were both punished for the crimes that we'd committed. Me for being a demon who fell in love with a goddess, and then went on to betray and kill his own kind. Her for being a goddess who fell for a demon, and chose to save her enemies. Wait, what? Punished by who? By two gods. The ruler of the demon race, the demon king, and the leader of the goddess race, the supreme deity. completely outmatched. They were just too powerful. And in the end, we were both killed. Or so we thought. I'm not sure how much time had passed. A day... A week, there was no way to know. But I came too. Somehow, my wounded body had healed back to normal again. But it wasn't the same for her. She was still dead by my side. No idea what had happened to us. All I could do was cry, holding Elizabeth's body in my arms. Turns out while I was unconscious, the Holy War had come to an end. I also discovered, even after all that time, I was still the same age. I started wandering around Britannia alone, still scarred by the Holy War, till one day... There she was. Elizabeth was back. She was supposed to be dead, but she was standing right in front of me. It seemed impossible, but it was true. She didn't have wings, but I knew it was her. My heart was so full. But it was one-sided. This Elizabeth had been born as a member of the Savages. But she finally opened up to me, and showed she cared. One day, 
Something happened to her right eye, and her powers were awakened. Those powers coming back, along with the symbol of the goddess race, left me with no doubt. I was sure of it. She really was the reincarnation of my Elizabeth. For her to be reborn and have the same looks, voice, name. Thinking back, it doesn't make much sense. But I was glad anyway, and did my best to tell her all about it. That was the trigger. It's what caused Elizabeth to start remembering her past life in fragments. Then, by the time that symbol was also in her left eye. Oh. I know. Everything. I remember. That's great! I can't believe it! Listen to me. You and I have been cursed. Huh? What are you talking about? I'll explain. But first, I want you to promise me something. No matter what happens, even if I end up dying again, you'll lift this curse. What are you saying? Swear to me! All right, I give you my word. Even if you die, I swear I'll keep my promise to you. Thank you. I'll tell you everything. Three days later, Elizabeth died right in front of me. The curses that your father and my mother put on us are almost unthinkable. <gasps> eternal life and eternal reincarnation. You'll never age again. And even if you die, you'll only be resurrected. I'll live short lives as a human, one after another. And each time, I'll forget everything about my past life. And if I ever regain all the memories of my past life in full, no matter what, no matter who's there to protect me, I'll die in three days. There's more. I'm going to meet you every time I'm reincarnated and fall in love with you. Then, without fail, I'll lose my life right before your eyes. It's been 3,000 years. I've met Elizabeth and stayed by her side 107 times. One of them. Hey, Meliodas! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Elizabeth? The curse hasn't been lifted. Looks like we can't escape it. Started getting all her memories back as a child. Elizabeth! No, it's too late! That's when it happened. <gasps> then, there was another Elizabeth. such a mystery, aren't you? It's as if time has somehow stopped for you and you alone. Meliodas, when my time finally comes, I want you to forget about me, all right? Move on and find someone special. She never got back her memories at all, and quietly took her last breath with me by her side. Then, there was the moment leading to this Elizabeth's birth. It happened in Danafall, 16 years ago. I'd been looking for a way to lift the curse. With Merlin's help, I hoped we'd found it. Use the coffin of what? Eternal darkness. It's a relic the goddesses borrowed from the four races to seal away the demons. The goddesses seal. We could use the coffin to remove it and release the Ten Commandments. You're kidding, right? Why do that? It's for Zeldris. He wields the power lent to him by the Demon King. That power, the very thing responsible for placing the curse, could be used to lift it too. I can't. Bringing the Ten Commandments back into this world would be too dangerous. And my powers, they're way less than what they were when I used to lead them. Besides, 
I'm sure Zeldris hates me more now than he ever has. There's no way he'd help me. I suppose you have a good point. Let's keep searching. We can still find another way. I'm sorry, Merlin. Hey, it's perfectly all right. Coffin of Eternal Darkness, huh? At the time, we had no idea that one demon had already been gathering up and putting its pieces together. It was Fraudren. The wizards of Danafal who worshipped the demon race somehow figured out a way to resurrect him. In order to break the goddess race's seal, he needed the blood of a goddess. But by then, the goddess race didn't even exist. Fraudrin tried to resurrect the Ten Commandments by sacrificing all of Danafal's humans as a substitute. Dark clouds surrounded the kingdom, and winged beasts came from the demon realm. you and the kiss that imprisons you This ritual managed to fail after I offered all this human blood. Does this mean that the seal can't be broken unless it's the blood of a goddess? But that's... Meliodas! <clears throat> Meliodas, where are you? Say something! Meliodas! <laughs> Amazing. A human unfazed by the miasma of the demon realm. Wait, you're not a human, are you? And that face of yours, it looks familiar. Now I remember. You're the spitting image of that damned goddess Elizabeth. She rose up against us along with that traitor. You monster! You're not making any sense! It would appear those human sacrifices weren't for nothing. They allowed me to discover the one I really needed for my purposes. Bastard! How dare you do that to them! Stop it! 
I'm so sorry, Elizabeth. Traitor, you won't stop me from resurrecting the Ten Commandments. I don't know how much longer I can stand this. For the next three days and nights, flames devastated the entire kingdom. All I could do was stand there, missing her and feeling helpless. Each one of them, I've watched 106 Elizabeths take their last breath. And after all this time, it's never gotten any easier. <laughs> That's why Elizabeth made me promise to lift the curse. She wants to release me from this eternal suffering. I'm really sorry. I never wanted to keep this from all of you. Hey, wait! If the curse is finally lifted, then what's going to happen to you and Elizabeth? <laughs> My eternal life ends, and so does a reincarnation. It's why I'm on this journey in the first place. <laughs> <laughs>